So today we are going to see how to convert epsilon NFA to NFA. So for which I need what is the meaning of an epsilon closure. So epsilon closure of a state which is written as E closure or epsilon closure is a set of all states including that state also. It is the states which can be reached from Q by repeatedly making an arbitrary number of epsilon transitions. So only on epsilon transition if you make so those states which can be reached from Q will be included in the epsilon closure of Q. Example, let the transition diagram be as below. Now for Q0, the state itself will belong to the epsilon closure. So Q0 will be included in the epsilon closure of Q0. And I have an explicit transition from Q0 to Q1 on epsilon. So Q1 also belongs to the epsilon closure of uh, Q0. And uh, from Q1 again on epsilon, I can transfer, uh, I can make a transition to Q2. So Q2 also belongs to the epsilon closure of Q0. So likewise for Q1, I have epsilon closure of Q1 as Q1, Q2. And for Q2, epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2 itself. So let us see the procedure to convert epsilon NFA to NFA. So here the input is an epsilon machine and uh, the output is a NFA without epsilon. So your epsilon NFA is given by QEN sigma delta EN Q0 FEN. And uh, your equivalent NFA will contain the same set of states as in the epsilon NFA. Sigma will be uh, the same alphabets and delta will be changing and start state itself will be the start state and final state itself will be the final state such that L of EN is equal to L of EN. So it means the language accepted by epsilon NFA must be same as the language accepted by the NFA. So only thing is you have to identify how to find delta N. So delta N is uh, constructed using the following procedure. So delta N that is for each state in QEN and for each input symbol A in sigma delta N of Q comma A is the union of epsilon closure of delta of epsilon uh, uh, delta of uh, epsilon closure of Q comma A. Just a minute. So the delta N of Q comma A it is obtained by taking first first find the epsilon closure of that state. So you may get multiple state. So for each of these uh, states you find the delta of that state on A and find the union. Then for each of the states uh, of this you take the epsilon closure and perform the union. This is how the delta of uh, state in the equivalent NFA will be found out. So let us see with an example. Suppose uh, this is the machine that is epsilon NFA W is empty or if non empty will end in 0 1. So it is a empty string. So it is start itself is the final state and if it is not empty it is ends with 0 1. So 0 1 and here I have a self loop. So this is a machine which is uh, an epsilon NFA. Now this is a um, transition table for the epsilon NFA. So you have for Q0 dash this is a start state. So there is no, no transition on 0 and 1 explicitly and epsilon closure of Q0 dash is Q0 dash as well as Q0. So this is the last column which gives the epsilon closure and for Q0 I have transition uh, on 0 and 1 to Q0, Q1. So this is written on 1 you have transition only to Q0 and epsilon closure of Q0 is Q0 itself. So this is the last column which you have. Then for Q1 you don't have transition on 0 so it is fine. On 1 you have a transition to Q2 and epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1 itself. Next for Q2 you don't have transition on 0, 1 and the epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2 itself. So this is the transition diagram and transition table representation of the given uh, uh, in epsilon NFA. Now according to the procedure, so how to convert this into an equivalent NFA without epsilon transition. So the states will be the same states as in the epsilon NFA and start state is the start state of the epsilon NFA and final state is the final state of epsilon NFA. Now how do we 
find the delta so for q0 dash what is the epsilon closure of q0 is q0 q0 dash q0 so for uh, q0 dash on 0 1 first i take the epsilon closure so epsilon closure of q0 is q0 dash and q0 so therefore for q0 dash on 0 it is uh, 5 and on for q0 you have next uh, uh, transition on 0 is q0 q1 so now this union of phi and q0 q1 is q0 q1 now on these two states you take the epsilon closure union so you will get these so you will get q0 dash you, you will get uh, q0 q1 so then for q0 q1 uh, epsilon closure you have to perform the union so it is q0 q1 so q0 dash on 0 you will get q0 q1 similarly on 1 so for 1 it is epsilon closure of q0 dash is q0 dash and q0 so for each of these state you take uh, the transition on 1 so it is phi and q0 so for q0 what is epsilon closure it is q0 so q0 dash on 1 goes to q0 only now similarly for q0 first find epsilon closure of q0 which is q0 then for q0 on 0 you find out the next state it is q0 q1 now take the epsilon closure of q0 and q1 which is q0 q1 therefore it is q0 q1 similarly for other states also you should do it you will get this machine Now additional problems construct an epsilon NFA to accept any number of A's followed by any number of B's followed by any number of C's then convert into NFA. So this is the required uh, epsilon NFA any number of A. so all the states are final state and uh, Q0 on any number of A's it will be accepting followed by any number of B's will also be accepted followed by any number of C's will also be accepted. So find the epsilon closure of Q0, Q1, Q2 first and apply the same procedure and get the equivalent NFA without epsilon. Thank you.